Hey, praise the Lord. This is Brother Clinton coming to you again from my living room in Phoenix, Arizona. This is my humble little mansion here on earth. I want to talk to you today about the difference between a Jehovah's Witness and a Christian. And I want to make clear, first of all, that the reason that I'm doing this is not to slander Jehovah's Witnesses or to create a, a forum of arguments with Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, if you're a Jehovah's Witness and you want to make a comment on this video, you're welcome to do so. But please be advised that I am not interested in theology and that I'm not interested in being converted to your religion. Um, I am a Christian. I'm a Bible believer. If you want to speak to me, speak as the oracles of God. Don't present to me the doctrines of your religion because I'm not going to converse with that. I will converse with the Word of God. Uh, that said, the reason that I'm making this video is because there are so many out there who are coming to the Lord, who are desiring to know the things of the Lord, and, and you're the ones that I'm speaking to. And, and if you're coming to the Lord, if you're just starting to seek God, you're starting to realize that God is calling you, and you're starting to realize that God is holy, and you're not, and you need to repent and serve Him and stop living your life the way that you have been up, to, up until now. If you're doing that, if you're thinking that, if you're having those feelings, you are entering into a battlefield. Because Satan, the Lord of your life, who has owned you since the day of your birth, is getting very upset that you're coming out from his darkness into the light. And so he's going to try to do everything he can to distract you. And when you come onto this battlefield, there are lots of smoke screens. A smoke screen, literally speaking, is something that the enemy creates on a battlefield so that you become confused and you don't you can't see and you don't know which way to go. And in the in the world of religion, a smoke screen is a is a, is a ploy of all the religious denominations who, whose father is Satan to come at you and confuse you so you don't know which way to go, so you don't know which Bible is the Word of God, so you don't know which church to go to, so you don't know which Jesus is the real Jesus. It's like the shell game. You know, they just mix them around and then you try to guess which one. <laughs> That's what the devil wants to do to you. So be assured that if you love Jesus and you want to come to him, you call upon him, he's alive. And no matter how quick the shell game goes, and no matter how slick the master of it is, Jesus Christ is able to draw you forth out of all that and teach you and show you and reveal to you who he is. That's awesome, and that's the truth. So I want to explain to you the difference between a Jehovah's Witness and a Christian. Many differences, actually. I want to read to you, first of all, a verse of Scripture. It's in the second, chapter, second book of Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. This is a letter from Paul the Apostle to the church of Corinth. It says, For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, and when he says we, he's talking about himself and the other apostles, of course. Or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted. So Paul's making manifest in this verse of scripture, in this sentence from this letter, that there are false Jesuses, false spirits, and false gospels. And this is not only today, this was almost 2,000 years ago when Paul wrote this. These things were already in existence uh, because smoke screens, because the enemy will try to do anything he can to distract you because you have left his darkness and entered into the light. And that makes him very angry, not only because he is losing your soul and dominion over you, but because you are a potential great danger to him because more souls are going to be lost by him when you get a hold of this light and start preaching it to other people. So you are becoming very dangerous to your enemy, Satan. And that's why he's doing these things. And in the process of doing this, there are going to be lots of religious people that will come to you from the religious organizations, and they'll try to get you to join them. And among those are the Jehovah's Witnesses. The Jehovah's Witnesses will come to you and they'll say, well, yeah, we're Christians, and we believe in Jesus Christ, and we'd like you to come with us and let us show you how we worship Jesus Christ. That is the only time that Jehovah's Witnesses will ever tell you that they're a Christian. I can almost guarantee you that. Other than the situation where a Jehovah's Witness is witnessing to you and trying to draw you in, they will not tell you that they're a Christian. They'll tell you, I study with the Jehovah's Witnesses. Remember that, because you'll hear that phrase a lot if you talk to them. I study with the Jehovah's Witnesses. The reason for that is because the Jehovah's Witnesses are not Christians. They're theologians. They have a perverted Bible, which was uh, authored by a, a man named Charlie Russell about 150 years ago. Charlie Russell was a man who thought that he had a different revelation of God, and so he took some corrupted Greek manuscripts from Westcott and Hort and some other um, 
places where it was corrupted, and he put it together into an, an English version of what he calls the Bible. It's called the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. It is not the Word of God. It has some similarities to the Word of God, but it's not the Word of God. So the Jehovah's Witnesses have a false Bible. That's one thing. Okay? And the Bible is the seed. The Word of God is the seed. And if you're grown from a true seed, then you're going to be a true vine. If you're grown from a perverted seed, then you're going to be a perverted vine. That's just nature. That's how it works. That's, that's common sense. And that's what the Word of God teaches as well. So the Jehovah's Witnesses have a false Bible. Their Bible is not the Word of God. One example of the perversion of the, the scriptures that they have compiled into their false Bible is the first verse of the Gospel of John. In the Holy Bible, that verse says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. But in the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures, John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was a God. A God. That's different. That's totally different. Now, the Jehovah's Witnesses believe that the word word in that verse means Jesus Christ, and that a God means that he is a different God, another God, separate from the God that they call Jehovah. Well, this is the second thing, the second error of the Jehovah's Witnesses. They have a different Jesus. Number one, they have a different Bible. Number two, they have a different Jesus. The Jesus of the Bible is the Almighty God who came in the flesh. He created the heavens and the earth. He stood on the earth in a human body, and in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. He's the Almighty God. He stood up and he told the wind and the waves to be still, and they were. He told dead people to get up out of their graves, and they did. He healed multitudes, and none of them went away sick. He did those things because he wanted to make manifest through the things that he did exactly who he was. He stood before his disciples and said, If ye have seen me, ye have seen the Father. How do you say unto me, Show us the Father? He is the Father, standing there in a human body. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. He said in the New Testament, in the book of the Revelation, I am the one which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Not the half mighty, which means I have another half that has the other half of might. No, he's the Almighty God. When, when we stand before the judgment seat of Christ, there is one person that's going to be sitting on that throne. One throne, one person, one God, one judge, Jesus Christ the judge of all. We shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. The Bible says that the kingdom is the Lord's, the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Jehovah's Witnesses have a different Jesus. They believe that Jesus is another God created by Jehovah and that there are actually two gods and that someday, I guess, they believe that we shall all stand before two judgment seats. I don't know. I've never uh, gotten into detail with them about that. The Jehovah's Witnesses also have a different gospel. Um, the gospel of the New Testament in the Bible um, is that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead, and if you'll repent and be baptized in his name, he'll wash away your sins and fill you with his Holy Spirit, and you'll speak with other tongues and prophesy, just like it was written in the Old Testament that it would happen. And we have a record in the New Testament that it did happen every time the gospel was preached. The Jehovah's Witnesses don't have the Spirit of Christ. They believe that they have the Spirit of Christ because that's what their religion teaches them, but they're not filled with the Holy Ghost. They've never spoken in other tongues. They don't know the power of the Holy Ghost. They don't lay hands upon the sick. They don't cast out devils. They don't do any of those things. All they know is theology. When you look at a Jehovah's Witness, you'll see a man or a woman who is very dedicated to their religion, but you won't see any power. You won't see the life of Jesus Christ in them because they don't have the life of Jesus Christ. All they have is theology. They have a false Jesus. They have a false Bible and they have a false gospel. Okay, The Bible says, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. If any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Period. Okay, So those are three major reasons why Jehovah's Witnesses are not Christians and that Christians cannot be a Jehovah's Witness. The Jehovah's Witnesses also have um, several false doctrines. Uh, they believe that the 144,000 who are mentioned in Revelation chapters 7 and 14 are them, and that they are the only true church, uh, that's ridiculous. You can tell by reading the scripture, uh, even if it's the first time you've ever read the Bible, that the 144,000 that are being spoken of there are 144,000 Jewish people, 12,000 from every tribe of Israel. The scripture even lists every tribe by name. Okay. The Jehovah's Witnesses also teach that there is no hell. That's ridiculous. 54 times in the Bible, the word hell is mentioned. Hell is one of the most prominent themes of the Bible. The God who created it spoke about it very much in his word because he wanted us to know about it. And the Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe that hell exists. Um, and unfortunately, when they get there, they will realize it. 
but for them it will be too late. So I'm running out of time. I want these things to be a blessing to you, and I'm here for you if you have any questions.